Hello everyone, today I have put the Minecraft Chicken and Wolf into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This comes with a lot of Minecraft charm and it's a mod over Duck Hunt, so I hope you enjoy. Starting this showcase, we have the mobs themselves, Wolf and Chicken. These two are very old school classic Minecraft mobs, they were added back in Java Edition, they've been a part of Minecraft ever since, even going into the Minecraft spin-off games, all the promo material. If you've seen Minecraft at all, you've probably seen these two mobs. So really, there's no point me deep diving into this character. Instead, let's move on to Wolf and Chicken's movesets, because everything has been changed to make it look more like Minecraft. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, first up, we are replacing Duck Hunt's can with TNT. Not just any TNT, long TNT. This comes packaged with all of the original Minecraft sound effects. So you hear the fuse sound when you shoot it, you'll hear the classic explosion when you detonate, you'll also hear the fizzle sound as it's about to detonate as well. Next up, we have replaced Clay Pigeon with the egg from Minecraft. Chickens are known to lay eggs, which is exactly why I replaced it with an egg. Originally it was going to be something like an ender pearl or an eye of ender since you toss those in the game, but it was pointed out to me that the egg is also a throwable item and fit the mod. Also, if you've been paying attention, you might have noticed the crosshair has changed. That's right, they used the Minecraft crosshair alongside the crossbow sound when you use smash attacks and just do moves that involve the crosshair in general. This next one took a lot of effort. We have replaced the gunman with a series of mobs from Minecraft. This contains every single mob in the game that shoots from a crossbow or a bow. And they are, in order, the skeleton, the stray, the pillager, the illusioner, and finally the piglin. I'm also going to run a little montage now to show off my favourite effect from the mod. When the gunmen are hit, they turn red and fall over like they do in Minecraft, and the skeleton and stray also have unique animations. Here, check it out. So, I did say Duck Hunt was replaced. Well, the reason I said that is because we have seven alternate costumes for this mod. Without further ado, let's get straight into them. Starting off the alt costumes, we have his first alternate costume, which is based off the promo material for Minecraft. As you can see, he's also sporting his red collar, and he's considered a tamed wolf. This is because he's typically presented like this in the Minecraft cover art. You could also see this as a callback to Plastic Minecraft, the Minecraft trailers, or what I actually originally based it off, the Bare Bones Minecraft pack, which aims to emulate that trailer look. Either way, I wanted to include the look, so, well, here you go. Our next alt is pretty niche, so let me explain. The chicken's pretty self-explanatory, looks like the normal chicken, but the texture's slightly different. This is because it's the chicken's original texture, or you can consider it the programmer arts chicken. The wolf, however, is actually one of the first looks conceived for the character. Jeb posted a screenshot ages ago, which hardly has any likes, which is really weird. I found it on the wiki. But this look for the wolf was one of Jeb's first attempts at making him look more bear-like. So since this is a literal wolf alt, and I think it looks quite cool, I decided to put it in the game. Which, um, now that I think about it, is probably the first time this skin has been acknowledged for a good while. This alt is also quite niche, so I gotta explain this one as well. The April Fool's alt contains both the April Fool's luck for the wolf and the chicken. Starting with the chicken since his came first, this is the diamond chicken based off the Minecraft 2.0 update. These guys lay diamonds and lapis instead of eggs and they exploded for some reason? And this skin is also programmer arts like the last one. The wolf is based off the voting update, which is a reference to the Mojang developer King B Dogs. I'm sure a lot of people know about the name tag easter eggs, where you name a mob and it changes their appearance in some way. The wolf had one of these in the snapshot, and naming him King B Dogs would make him sport a crown. Also gave him a yellow collar, since I thought it looked a little bit better with the alt. Otherwise it would just be a vanilla wolf. 
here's some simple ones. The Chicken and Wolf are sporting tuxedos. This is a callback to console edition where you'd have Steve skins which would have a mob head and a tuxedo. The chicken specifically actually had one of these in the Battle of Beast texture pack. The chicken comes with his original colours and the wolf's is, um, well I made it up to be honest with you. I give him red since this default colour block is red so yeah I thought it was a cute alt so there you go. This one is really simple. I gave Wolf and Chicken the outfits of Steve and Alex, the default player skins in Minecraft. There's not really a reference for this one besides, well, obviously Steve and Alex. This is just a nice alt I threw together to fill in some slots. But yeah, moving on to the next skin. This next alt is actually a reference to Minecraft if though not intentionally at first. I originally just wanted to make an alt base off the Bushroom mod. They're cool looking mobs, it looks like it could be done to any mob in the game, but it turns out the chicken actually has a variant called the Clux Room. This only appeared in Minecraft Earth and um, I played Minecraft Earth for two minutes. I don't know anything about that game to be honest with you, but he's got a cool design. As for the wolf, that's completely made up. So I'm calling him the, um, the Wolf Shroom. Yeah, let's go with Wolf Shroom. Yeah, it's my OC, do not steal, all right? Anyways, moving on to the final alt. How could I not include this costume? I bet half of you expected this and saw this coming a mile away. We have Grim from Dan TDM and also a chicken sporting Dan TDM's getup. For those who are unaware, Grim is a skeleton dog that used to appear in Dan TDM mod showcases. This is really like the most popular variant of the wolf, though not official in any capacity. As for the chicken, there were two ways to take it. I could have either done Dr. Treyaris' getup or I could have done Dan TDM's. The reason I did Dan and not Treyaris is because Treyaris would have like a white on white costume and I thought it wouldn't stand out as much. So I went with Dan TDM because I like the idea of giving the chicken glasses, alright? But yeah, for those of you who wanted this all, I know it was a popular request. I hope you're happy and I hope I did him justice. It's been a while since I threw one of these together considering I've been mostly doing Steve skins and that requires video editing. But I'm happy to announce this is the first skin in this pack that I can do a final smash. So, let's see it, shall we? Yeah. I call this final smash The Raid. This has pillagers taking aim on a local village, getting shot down. You can also hear the raid horns and also the victory raid horn. But yeah, this is a big element of the um, illager mobs. They go on raids, they attack the villagers, and since I already had some of them as the gunmen, I thought it appropriate to make that the final smash since it's literally a shootout normally. So yeah, now for my favorite part of the showcase, let's show off the victory screens. Wolf actually has a different victory theme, though it's not that interesting, it's just Steve's, but I'm gonna let them all play out, but also stay tuned because one of the costumes has a special victory theme. I want to use this section of the video before my engagement just drops to say thank you. The people who are here right now, people from Twitter and all that, thank you genuinely. For those who don't know, this mod caught the algorithm. People love this project, and I love making this project, but the amount of eyes that have been put on me recently because of this project is really encouraged me to keep going and keep making these mods, and I hope once this mod's out, you'll enjoy the rest of my work that I have in the future. Trust me, I've got plans that are just as good as this, 
if not better. Okay, with that out of the way, the mod download is out now on Game Banana if you're watching this live. And if you're not watching it live, check the description, it should be there. I know this is in every outro, but it is necessary. I showed the mods off on Twitter, so if you're interested in seeing early access sort of stuff or getting little teaser promos, follow me on there. And also, check out the YouTube channel, subscribe, do all that good stuff, because you can see the rest of my catalogue and all the new mods I create once they're released. And finally, if you just want to get the mod straight from the source, check out my Game Banana page and support me on there. The more you push my mods, the more people download them, the more it gets my name out there. Really appreciate it. With all that said and done, thank you for watching. There isn't going to be a promo this time. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, I'm calling him the, um, the Wolf Shroom? Yeah, we'll go with Wolf Shroom. Call him Wolf. <laughs> I, I can't stop. <laughs>